Good morning. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes, you are so right. You are tuned in to Kofifi FM 97.2 um, with partnership and in partnership with Ecclesia Ministries and Ecclesia Radio. I will be your host for this week, Keith Oliphant, with my technical team that's so passionately involved in doing uh, behind the scenes ministry. This week, we are doing the week of overcomers. And we are so excited for what God has given us. The, the, the title for this week is basically the keys of heaven, of the kingdom of heaven. The keys of the kingdom of heaven. And God has given us a day-to-day -day word as well as what he wants us to achieve and accomplish. And today I, want to, I just want to encourage you as this is a program of the overcomers, that we just hear the word of God, that we delve into the word of God. We very seldom get to do this. So the first point is basically to allow his word to be saturated in our spirits. Amen. Um, allow me first to pray. And then let's just invite the spirit of truth just to calm us down and to lead us as he sees fit. Amen. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus, Lord. Father, we want to thank you for your goodness, your mercy and your faithfulness towards us. Today is a new day a new gift of life, and we want to say thank you that you woke us up for a brand new day, Lord. So, Father, this day is no different from any other day because this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and we'll be glad in it. Lord, let your word that is so rich and so uh, full of power just come and do its office in our lives. We, we submit to it, and we thank you for your word in the mighty name of Jesus. And all God's people say, Amen and Amen. Yes, truth be told, like I said, I'm so excited for what God is busy doing. And um, Matthew chapter 6 in verse 19, just the first or the B part of it says, And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. This word is his key. And today we're going to just go deep into it and allow the spirit of God just to move on our behalf. So I want to read some one. We're going to do a lot of reading today. And we're praising God in our reading because many times we don't get to do it. And this is just to say, God, this is about you. Irrespective of my situation, irrespective of what I'm faced with, irrespective of what I need to overcome, this is about you. So allow me to read with for you. You can join in with me if you can. And thank you for allowing me in your space, in your vehicle, in your home, in your office, wherever you may find yourself. Thank you so very much. Someone says, Oh, the joys of those who... Do not follow the advice of the wicked or stand around with sinners or join in with mockers as we are reading out of the New Living Translation. But they delight in the law of the Lord, meditating on it day and night. They are like trees planted along the river bank, bearing fruit each season. Their leaves never wither and they prosper in all they do. But the wicked, but not the wicked, sorry, they are like the worthless chaff scattered by the wind. They will be condemned at the time of judgment. Sinners will have no place among the godly. For the Lord watches over the path of the godly. But the path of the wicked leads to destruction. Again, this is keys to spiritual growth in us doing what God wants us to do. Amen. I don't want to jump right into it and not waste a lot of time. Psalm 93. Oh, glory to God. Psalm 93 reads as follows. The Lord is king. He is robed with majesty and in majesty. Indeed, the Lord is robed in majesty and armed with strength. The world stands firm and cannot be shaken. Your throne, O Lord, has stood from time immemorial. You yourself are from everlasting past. The floods have risen up, O Lord. The floods have roared like thunder. The floods have lifted their, their pounding waves. But mightier than the violent raging of the sea, mightier than the uh, breakers of the shore, the Lord above is mighty than these. Your royal laws cannot be changed. Your reign, O Lord, is holy forever. Amen and ever. That's what God says, and that's what God gives us. He gives us His Word, and He never fails or never falters. Hallelujah. Psalm 95 reads as follows. Come, let us sing to the Lord. 
Let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation. Let us come to him with thanksgiving. Let us sing psalms of praise to him. For the Lord is a great God, a great king above all gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth. And that includes you, that includes me. Hallelujah. The mightiest mountains, the sea belongs to him, for he made it. He holds, sorry, his hands formed the dry land too. Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker, for he is our God. We are the people he watches over, the flock under his care. If you would listen to his voice today, the Lord says, don't harden your hearts as Israel did at Meribah, as they did at Mesa in the wilderness. For there your ancestors tested and tried my patience, even though they saw everything I did. For 40 years I was angry with them, and I said, they are a people whose hearts turned away from me. They refuse to do what I tell them. So in my anger, I took an oath. They will never enter my peace of rest, my place of rest, sorry. These are the keys that God is giving us. And God wants us to be faithful in hearing his voice and hearing him. And I want to encourage you, as we are reading the Psalms, we are setting a foundation and allowing the spirit of the word to filter through us. And again, this is not about Ecclesia. This is not about Kofifi. This is not about Keith. But this is about what God is about to do in all our lives. Amen. Let's allow him. Psalm 148 says, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him from the skies. Praise him. All his angels. Praise him. All the armies of heaven. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you twinkling stars. Praise Him, skies above. Praise Him, vapors high above the clouds. Let every cre uh, created thing give praise to the Lord. For He issued His command and they came into being. He set them in place forever and ever. His decree will never be revoked. Praise the Lord from the earth, you creatures of the ocean depths. Fire and hail, snow and clouds, wind and weather that obey him mountains and all hills fruit trees and all cedar wild animals and all livestock small scurry animals birds kings of the earth and all people rulers and judges of the earth young men and young women just like i am today a young man young men young women old men and children let all praise the name of the lord for his name is very great his glory towers over the earth and heaven. He has made his people strong, honoring his faithful ones, the people of Israel who are close to him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Man, as we can see, as we've read the word, we can see what God is busy doing. And I just want to explain a little bit about who, who this God is. And he says, when we pay attention to detail, that ensures that whatever you do and whatever you pay attention to, towards, will never be corrected. So when we pay attention to his word, when we take that as a key that will make us successful, praise almighty God, it will be the key for your life. Let us deal with every small insignificant thing called sin, called wrongdoing, wrong thinking, and captivate that thought and bring it under subjection to the word and allow the word to filter through it. We have read and we have seen everything God, especially Psalm 148, he says everything has to praise him. Every single thing, that includes me, you, and, and every created thing that he has created. So what an awesome opportunity to come over and to go through whatever obstacle may face you, that you may be challenged. The, again, this is a program of the overcomers. We are going to overcome by the mouth of, 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 of our testimonies, by the word of God. We are going to overcome, allowing the spirit of God to lead us in all truth. And I want to say thank you to Almighty God that he has never given up on us. He has never showed us a way. And when he spoke to the Israelites, 
in Psalm 95, he just showed us that their hearts were not in the right place. Their hearts were hardened. And yes, it, 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 it um, incited anger in him. But God is relentless to say with, with graciousness and with glory, he, he accepted them back. And that's where we are today. Because of the grace of God, he has made you an overcomer, victorious in every uh, aspect of life. Amen. And then I want to read the last Psalm again, Psalm 150. It says, praise the Lord. Oh, praise God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty heaven. Praise Him for His mighty works. Praise Him, unequaled greatness. Praise His unequaled greatness, excuse me. Praise Him with the blast of the ram's horn. Praise Him with the, with the lyre and the harp. Praise Him with the tambourine and dancing. Praise Him with strings and flutes. Praise Him with clash of cymbals. Praise Him with loud uh, uh, clinging cymbals. Let everything that has breath sing praises to the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let us never stop praising God. Again, irrespective of whatever we face. You know, that confuses the enemy. That confuses the enemy big time because he, he um, uh, for lack of a better word, he cry lacquer when we give in to his demise and think, oh, glory, what is this happening again? And we have a pretty party and no one is invited. And, and he, 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 gets, he gets all worked up and all psyched up. But when we stand firm on the word of God and say, yes, Lord, I may be going through this thing, but I praise you. I will take the Psalms and I will sing praises unto you. I will speak of your goodness. I will speak of your candidness. And I will just show because with the, with, with the testimony that comes forth, what you've done for me a couple of years ago, a couple of days ago, a couple of hours ago, I will let the enemy know who is boss in my life because God gives us the key. And that's his word, my beloved brother, my beloved sister. Let's use his word mightily so that he can be effective and, and, and just allow you to grow from glory to glory, from strength to strength. Yes, again, you are tuned into Kofifi FM 97.2 with in, and in partnership with Ecclesia Ministries and Radio. And this is the program of the overcomers. We are going to overcome every obstacle by the word that God has given us. He has given us the keys of heaven to unlock the gate of heaven and to lock the gate of hell because God prevails. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today and forever the same. And we just want to say we appreciate you tuned in because I don't want to uh, um, divulge or, or, or deviate much from the word, but just to say that God wants us to praise Him irrespective of where we found ourselves and where we are in right now. That is the, that is the overcoming strength and key that is given you. You are a blessing. You are uh, so awesome in what God has given you. And I want to encourage you today that there is no second person like you. We all have our ears the same place, our eyes in the same place, our noses, our mouth, our hands, our feet. Correct? Yes. But our fingerprint is different. I have twin girls and their fingerprints are different and they are identical. Right? And I learned this lately that your eye print is different. We all have eyes, but your eye print is different. Oh, glory to God. Isn't that an awesome God we serve? And irrespective of what we are going through, just thank Him today. Thank Him and just say, Lord, You are in control and I worship You on Ha'achvat. Because you are the maker of heaven and earth. You are the king of kings. You are the Lord of lords. And I will worship you up until the day you call me home. So stay blessed. Stay, stay awesome in his presence and allow him to saturate you. Yes, take his word. His word is full of commands. His word is full of instructions. His word is full of leading. And his word is full of promises and oaths. And God will never lie. As we will delve in on, on the next session, in the next days, um, you will understand what I mean. Where the promises are there. The oath is there. He will never lie because he said he'll never leave you, nor will he forsake you. So whatever your challenge you may be sitting with, facing with, in the, in the midst of it, know that you are more than a conqueror. You are more than victorious because great is he who is in you than he who is in the world. The enemy, the Bible says, Resist the devil and he shall flee from you. So we resist him now and we command him to loose and go over our children, over our, our, our situations, over anything. In actual fact, over our own mind because the battlefield is in the mind. 
And I want to encourage you today, my brother and sister, take up the word. If you don't know what to read and, and, and it makes whatever, just take up the word and allow God, the Holy Spirit, just to lead you. Just tell him that, hear him, I, Lord, I don't understand. And he will uh, um, bring you to fruition. So in closing, I want to say God is faithful. He's sincere. He'll never leave you. He'll never, um, um, in actual fact, I want to use this word, he'll never doubt you. He'll never doubt you. Because he has placed his breath in you and he, he trusts that you will do the right thing at the right time. So stay blessed. Know that this is detailed. Let's ensure that, that we get all the detail in and that we will never divert or end up doing the wrong stuff. We love you. We appreciate you. Um, next up, once again, is, is, our, is our team as they would join us with the Kofifi Morning Show. Um, tune in, let's, let's continuously pray for them, pray for one another and allow the spirit of truth to lead us in all paths of righteousness. Stay blessed.